Whoa! Oh my gosh! Watch out! They're coming in now. They're coming in strong. This is incredible. Hello, Lake Michigan. Well, it's good to be back in the Windy City for the fifth time this year. Welcome back to the channel, folks, and welcome if it's your first time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am happy to be here in Chi-Town this weekend to track down, to hunt down, yet again, some more Chicago filming locations, this time for one of my favorites, John Hughes and John Candy. Uncle Buck, right there, also starring little Macaulay Culkin, actually his first role in a John Hughes movie, actually I think it was his first movie, the year before Home Alone came out, also filmed in the Chicago area. I am a huge fan of John Hughes films, so it is quite an honor to be able to hunt down some of his filming locations right here in Chicago. Uncle Buck being one of my absolute favorites especially for John Candy films. I love John Candy in this movie. Everyone wanted an Uncle Buck. He was a cool uncle, and his charm, his charisma, and his wittiness, it, it's just a great film. And I'm so honored to be able to track down these, these locations today. Rest in peace, John Hughes and John Candy. Uncle Buck, here we go. All right, let's hit the road. We got so many locations to go to today, so many. Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and know there's much ahead, always much ahead here in Chicago. And before I hit the road, I just want to show you my rental car, this Chevy Spark, and I've nicknamed him Wild Thing. And so it begins. The very first Uncle Buck filming location is right here to the right, just next to Wrigley Field, the back side of Wrigley Field, actually the bleachers entrance. There's a statue of Harry Carey right there on the corner. But about right here, this precise camera angle, I'm recreating it. During this video, I will show you the then and now screenshot comparisons. But right now, we're standing before Uncle Buck's apartment. Right there, you don't actually see where he's at inside there. Actually, they didn't even film the interior scenes in there at all and the name of uncle buck's apartment buck russell's apartment building is beyond the ivy wrigley field in this building hasn't changed a lot in 32 years that's for sure very cool the doorway there on the building to the right and the sign of course up there chicago cubbies and before i take off to the next filming location i just want to show you the angle of the building you don't see in the movie this is uncle buck's apartment building right there we're at the corner of Sheffield and Waveland. All right, Cubbies, good luck to you this year. Go Rays, Rays up. Cool to be here though. I hope to be back here soon in Chicago, someday soon, to actually go to a game. That would be awesome. Well, that's a giant baseball, look at that. And this building right here at the point of Milwaukee and Halstead is our next filming location. This is the pub from the beginning of Uncle Buck this is where we meet Chinese, his girlfriend, and also Buck himself. This is the first time we see him is at, at the pub. Oddly enough, been here before, earlier this summer, well, early in the summer this year. This was the bar from Backdraft. If you've seen that movie, this is where the Probies got their station assignment. And I pulled the screenshot of the exterior shot from the movie of the pub. Still a Irish pub today, now Emmett's, then O'Sullivan's, according to that sign in the screenshot to the left. And look at the street sign to the left of that, Milwaukee and Housestead. That is the same today. Look at that. Nothing much has changed, just the, the entryway is a bit different as it was during Backdraft, that movie as well. All right, so now I'm inside of the bar and you gotta use your imagination, but right over here, you see this right here? I'm gonna show you the screenshot. Keep this in mind. Now this is all shifted. The windows are different. The tile is the same, but right here in front of this is where Shawnee and Buck were sitting, eating and drinking. But they would have been sitting right there and also in the screenshot, you'd have to be behind the bar that you can make out this tap right here, this brass tap to the right in front of the gentleman. And right behind that last filming location, behind the bar, a pink buffalo sits 
in a vacant lot. Just had to show this. It's pretty wacky, I love wacky stuff. Welcome to 600 Ramona Road and Central Avenue to Ramona Elementary School, where in the movie, it was called Winona Elementary School. W-I-N-O-N-A, kind of like Winona Ryder, but this is where Maisie and Miles Russell went to school and Uncle Buck came here one day to visit with their principal. Who remembers those scenes? All right, I'm gonna match up some screenshots. Very cool to be standing here. Notice where Uncle Buck parked his marquee right there on the sidewalk before that first door. And here we are today, that first door would have been right there. He would have parked the car right there in front of that door on the sidewalk. Notice that this is new in the screen grab. You don't see it, it's more flat going down the, the side of the building. That has been added and also the flagpole used to be right there in the center. It has now moved to where the new part of the building is. And I've walked around to the rear of the school. I'm peeking through a window, looking down this hallway, which is a lot similar. Could be the same one. There's definitely lockers on the hallway and there's definitely some sort of green tile. Here's the screenshot. John Candy, when he first enters the school, Uncle Buck, he comes down the hallway, looks to the right, smoking a stogie, and then comes down a little further to our left, to his right, into a restroom. Now, if there's a restroom over there on the left, it's definitely the same hallway. Right there is the restroom that John Candy walked into and used the, the boys' room as it was. That wall, that door, and the tile work among the uh, men's restroom sign can be seen quickly here in this screen grab. Notice the brick, the wood door, and the tile work right before John Candy walks into the restroom. That is precisely right here. And also, you can make out the lockers in the hallway. And on the back side of the school, you can make out the same tile pattern that you saw back in 89 on the front side of the school from the screenshot of the movie. That's the same tile right among the door as we saw on the front side of Winona, Winona Elementary. And over here on this side of the school, in one of these windows is where the principal's office was, where Uncle Buck had the meeting about Maisie. And as we know, that principal was not nice and she had something on her face, something that uh, Uncle Buck couldn't keep his mind off of. Actually, he, he said melanoma and wart a few times, but one of my favorite John Candy lines of all time right here in this vicinity. Here's a quarter, he flips her a quarter and says, why don't you go downtown and find a rat and have it gnaw that thing off your face? And then he gets up and he walks out through the office and out the door, out the front door of Winona Elementary. And for this next filming location, welcome to the Pottawatomie Woods here in Wheeling, Illinois, another suburb of Chicago, this next location, actually this location right here, is the furthest northwest filming location for Uncle Buck. And this park shelter is where Tia and Bug were hanging out when Buck found them. They were actually underneath this structure making out. Now if you see the movie, you're saying, hey, this doesn't look like it. Well, this is it. It's just changed drastically. Actually, there was more of a, a house structure right here, and it's actually been additioned, it's longer. But matching up the brick to some screenshots, I, uh, I found that this is the exact shelter. Okay, so to confirm that this is the same shelter, I blew up the screenshot right here in the corner of the edge of the shelter. There's a long, narrow brick right above my thumbnail there, and there's a small one about half the size, a lot smaller below it. One, two, and this one, the rectangular, more square, right here, this portion of the shelter then in 1989 is right there. Those three bricks I just showed you in the screenshot are right there. Today, the fireplace has been boxed in. No more fires there. There was a fire built during the movie, actually right here is where Bug and Tia were smooching. And against this column right here before me is where this moment went down. Buck waves to the kids underneath the shelter 
and this young lady specifically is waving back at him and she is actually would have been standing right here today against this column and I can match that up because of the brick behind her all those kids would have been right here and notice the bricks right behind her right there before my thumbnail there's a large rectangle rectangular brick and a couple smaller rectangles above her split right there and this one right here and that's how I know they were standing right there because there it is right there that rectangular brick the two smaller ones and that one that young lady right there was standing right there waving back to Buck, which is right out here. And after Buck pulled up in the marquee out here, Tia and Bug would have walked precisely right out here. There used to be a sidewalk. Again, the structure to my right in the movie, not here today. And now there's a crack over here in this curb, which helped me line up where Buck actually parked his car and grabbed the hatchet out of the trunk. Here's the screenshot, Buck waving the hatchet back at Bug, scaring him to death. And uh, notice there is a crack in the curb across the street behind him. And that crack is still over there in that curb right over there. I'll show you in a second. It's covered with grass. There's the cut in the curb. And there it is in the concrete today, right across from where Buck parked, right before the shelter. Right here. I've been holding the hatchet, waving it back to Tia. And bug right there. Whew, it's starting to rain out here. Getting cold. I gotta walk all the way back to my car because this portion of the park is closed. Yep, I walked all the way back here for this filming location. Very cool to be back here too. Also should point out that this is the stretch of road you see Buck driving along on his way up to the shelter to meet Tia and Bug. Welcome to 2224 Crabtree Lane. This house right here was the party house from Uncle Buck. This is where Buck busted Bug in the upstairs bedroom of this house uh, using that power tool, that drill, to get inside the, uh, the door there. That's a famous scene, that's a funny scene. It's hilarious when we realize that Bug is not with Tia. Tia is gone and Bug was with another girl, but this is the house. And it looks like the house has gone over a little bit of a remodel since 1989, but you can definitely tell that it's the house in the driveway from the party scene from Uncle Buck. Actually, this portion of the house here has been expanded into a two-car two -car garage. This has been added right here. I'm uh, comparing it to this screenshot, about a similar angle right here on Crabtree Lane. Again, Buck's car pulled right there, parked it, walked in there, went upstairs, threw the party. That was a funny scene. Now those interior scenes were filmed, especially the bedroom scene, that was filmed on a set. But here you go, the entirety of that filming location here in Northbrook, Illinois. Buck Russell had the biggest car back in 1989 among these filming locations. And now in 2021, I have the smallest car. Welcome to my Chevy Spark. It is so cute and tiny. I feel so humongous in this car. <laughs> I'm, I'm as tall as John Candy. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Yep. These filming locations really sparked my interest. Had to come up here and track them down. Having a good time. It could be a whole lot colder and a lot snowier. It is cold and raining though. It's like sleet out there. Well, you look at that. Welcome to Elm Street. I guess it's true. Every town has an Elm Street. I am currently walking the pathway that Tia does in front of the bank when Buck spots her. I noticed in John Hughes movies, he always likes to do these low, long camera angles down sidewalks. I'm thinking of a scene from Home Alone, actually filmed a few blocks from here in Winnetka, but this is where we first see Tia walking down the street here along the bank, coming this way up the sidewalk. And here is the bank. I just wanted to show you the widest angle of the current Chase Bank in the movie Winnetica Bank. The specific doorway there below the Chase sign is the screenshot I grabbed of Tia walking right in front of that door. You can make out the structure, the brick, then and now, today. So Tia would have been walking down this same stretch of sidewalk, Buck and the Marquis following her at this point, making eye contact, and then they, they meet down here. Buck stops at the stop sign and then gets out of the car 
and there's a there's a conversation right down here in the corner. John Candy would have been standing right here. The marquee would have been right behind me today. You can make out the window structures behind me then and now, specifically the awning that's still blue, the doorway right there in this building. Tia would have been directly in front of me and John Candy comes around, Buck doesn't say a word, just kind of gives her a look and she's like, Tia looks back and says, yep, yeah, you were right. Yeah, he called it on bug. And the tree's all grown up, but this is the same tree you see behind Tia. Can't really see anything behind her. You can kind of make out the limestone across the street, but she would have been standing here looking at Buck right here among the Winnetica and Elm Street sign. Right here again was where the car was parked. And right here is where I'm about to grab some coffee because it's cold and I need some coffee. Thank goodness for Pete's coffee right here among these Uncle Buck filming locations. Oh, and you might recognize this town from home alone. Oh yeah, not far <laughs> from the McAllister's house. <laughs> Gotta look that up sometime. Gotta come back for that. And for the scene where Buck reveals to Tia that bug is in the back of his trunk, we come to downtown Glencoe, where behind the Glencoe Public Library is where that scene went down. All right, guys, this one took some digging but I'm asking you to use your imagination. Now look over here, this building, the back side of the library, right here where this roof is and this window. Keep your eyes on that. Now here is the screen grab from the movie. This building is before the parking lot where Buck pulled Bug out of the trunk right here because of that building and the window right there can be seen behind the over by the stop sign and to the left, matching up this location, then and now. So the marquee would have been about right here. And then uh, Bug gets out of the car, they leave him and start to pull away, and then he shouts something back, which, uh, which ticks Buck off. And so he turns around the car and starts chasing Bug into the park. And actually the car stops right over here now this is so cool and true today notice these two trees right here and also there's a eh, the pole's not there today it's a different type of pole but right here is where the marquee stops and buck gets out and tia gets out and here's the screen grab notice the two trees right there that bug up in the wooded area up the hill is standing between notice those two trees now look here today, there's those two trees. The marquee would have stopped right here. John Candy would have got out right here, came around, grabbed the five iron, five wood or five iron golf club, and teed off and hit balls at Bug right up there. <laughs> hit him in the head, actually. Nailed him with a golf ball. Man, right here, behind the library. It was a hard one to find this one. I had to do some digging. Season's greetings from Glencoe. I like this little town. There's my little car. All right, on to the next filming location. We now come to the Evanston neighborhood of North Chicago. The nearest corner to this filming location is Lincoln and Bennett Drive. Actually, just down the street, right over here to the right, is the Russell's house. 2602 Lincoln Drive. This house right here, Bob Russell's house. Bob, the brother of Buck, Uncle Buck. All right here's the Russell's house. This is amazing. Now I'm gonna match up some screenshots, compare some then and now, but I just wanted to soak this all in. Right here is where they had the exterior and some of the interior scenes of Uncle Buck right here, the Russell's house. And also this fence is very old. This could have been the fence that Macaulay Culkin, the first time we saw him on screen, ran alongside. You can make out this house several times in the movie as well. But that might be the same very fence as it was there back in 1989. But this is definitely the house. And also across the street, 2609, is the house that Buck went up to, incidentally thought that his his family lived in that house and uh, that was a funny funny moment in the movie I'll, I'll break that down but I just wanted to show you as I'm walking by the filming location right here the Russell's house 
I'm gonna match up some screenshots. This is so cool. And the opening scene of Uncle Buck begins right here as Tia is walking down the sidewalk along Lincoln Street. The Russell home, a block away, it appears she's walking right before, on the sidewalk right before the house, but we're actually a block down the street. It's these giant trees down there at the end that sit right along the sidewalk as they do behind her in the screenshot that gave it away. Specifically that one right there to the left of the sidewalk there's a black line on it. Look in the screenshot to the left of Tia's head. There's a black line on that. You can make out that line today. It's what gave this location away, just walking down the sidewalk here. This is the opening shot of Uncle Buck. That's amazing. Cool to be standing here. And also, the, the leaves on this tree kind of look like the one in the screenshot. Just a little bit. But yeah, right here, Tia walking this way over a block away from the Russell house. Right there, at the beginning of the film. And here we are, Bob Russell's house. Brother to Buck. Here's the filming location, the Russell home. This is awesome. Now, not much has changed, actually. Here is the screenshot that you first see the front of the home. Notice that the stone structure out here, these, this terrace thing right here, whatever this is, that was seen several times in the movie. And we're seeing Tia walk up to the door for the very first time in the film as she's coming home from school. This can be seen so many times. This little structure right here and this thing so many times in Uncle Buck from all different angles. So cool to be standing right here next to it. Now this is cool. That is the same fence that Macaulay Culkin, little Miles Russell, runs along in the movie the same fence is there you can tell by the picket pattern here's the screenshot i don't know precisely where it was maybe between that garage down there but there you go macaulay culkin's first movie first john hughes movie and when pooter the clown comes for the birthday party his mouse takes the corner right here before the driveway notice the house the window right there in the screenshot the mouse i paused it just right <laughs> I love this car. Pulls into the driveway right here. And the drunken clown, Pooter, walks up the sidewalk to the front door. And you can make out this house right here behind him. It's a little different angle. you got to use your imagination. But the window structures are the same. The color's different. He walks up to the door and tries to ring the doorbell. But he's too drunk to do so. Finally does though. And this house across the street gets a lot of screen time because it's directly in front of the house. Pooter the Clown is about to get punched. But there you go, right there, the windows match up pretty well. Pooter the Clown, get back in your mouse and get out of here. Those John Candy's lines. That's one of my favorite parts too. How many big white houses are on this street? I believe is what Buck said when he incidentally, accidentally went to the wrong house. He thought this was his brother's house. This is 2609 and it hasn't changed much, but in the movie Buck would have pulled right up here, got out and went and knocked on the wrong door. And uh, I'm gonna zoom in in a second, but you can still make out the stained glass. The door's changed a little bit. You can still make out the same stained glass as you saw back in 89 right here on this house. Buck realizing that he's at the wrong house right there. The steps to the door have changed a little bit, but you can definitely make out the windows then and now. Two to the left and one to the right. Everything looks the same. That is so cool. Now notice the stained glass to the left of the door. And here's the screenshot. John Candy, Uncle Buck, standing in that doorway. That stained glass right there before him. The door has changed a little bit. The structure's the same. But right here, 2609 Lincoln was the wrong house. And you can make out this tree in the next screenshot. Buck's car, the 77 Grand Marquis, would have been parked there. John Candy walking directly this way. Then. And now, right here. Candy coming this way. That's amazing. So I just spoke with the owner of the, the, the Russell house, the current owner that lives inside the house, and she confirmed that the interior scenes 
from Uncle Buck were not filmed in there. They were filmed elsewhere. And uh, if you stick with me, I'll show you exactly where that where those scenes were filmed. And that mail slot right there, that mail slot is the reason why we have the movie Home Alone because it was that scene with Shawnee and Miles when Miles was checking her identity, asked uh, Shawnee to put her license through the mail slot there. That scene in Uncle Buck is when John Hughes came up with the idea of Home Alone and that was his next movie after Uncle Buck right there. This door can be credited for inspiring Home Alone. It's where it began. And here's another angle of the house, this time with Buck's car and Shawnee's Bronco 2, which my family used to have in, back in 1989, oddly enough, is sitting here in the driveway. And here's a different angle. The camera would have been way up, but there you go. Those trees in the yard are long gone. So there you go, 89 and here today. Check it out. And after Shanice thinks she busts Buck with Marcy, she takes off in her Bronco too. And she takes the corner down here. The house is behind me, the Russell's house behind me. She takes the corner, there's, there's a quick screen grab. Notice the house behind the truck there. And also the house to the left. They both look the same today. She took the corner right down there. Kind of like that SUV's now the SUV is probably going to go straight. It's probably not going to turn left. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, right there. And here's a screenshot at the end of the movie. The whole family standing right there in the door. John Candy with the bag in his hand. I'm a little to the right. I'm shifted. But there's the same location. Then and now. Some trees are new and some are gone. But here's another angle. I like this screenshot because it has Buck's car parked would have been parked in the driveway right here on the other side of this walkway, the stone right there. Car would have been about right there. And the house still looking the same after all these years. The Russell's house, also you make up that house clear as day too. Then and now the screenshot. The Russell's house right there. Amazing, Uncle Buck. I love this movie. Just a quick observation, notice this little baby tree in the screenshot right there for the sidewalk. That's the tree today. <laughs> oh, 32 years in the making, this tree right there. That's impressive, just had to point that out. And here I am rolling past the Russell's house. I'll be back a little bit later. Fun fact, Amy Madigan who played Shanice and Gabby Hoffman who played little Maisie Russell were actually in a movie prior to Uncle Buck, and it's one of my favorite movies, Filled of Dreams. They played daughter and mother the year prior. Actually, it was released in 89. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our next filming location. New Trier High School, Tia's High School, Tia Russell's High School. Where a majority of Uncle Buck was filmed. Now you're saying a majority, there was only a couple scenes, well, Guess what, folks? A lot of the interior sets were built right here inside of the gymnasium. So they filmed the majority of the house scenes, the interiors of the Russell's house right here at New Trier High School, making a majority of the film actually filmed inside of this high school. Fun fact, also, Ferris Bueller's Day Off and 16 Candles was filmed here as well big filming location here for John Hughes move fans. And here is the widest angle you see. We're gonna break this scene down, but this is one of my favorite scenes, one of the most hilarious scenes when Buck drops Tia off. The Grand Marquis, the 1977 Grand Marquis, Broham would have pulled up right here in this spot and backfired for the first time. So the scene begins when Buck is driving Tia to school with Miles and Maisie inside and he takes the corner down right here and comes back this way to drop Tia off. Here's another shot of Buck parked in front of the school. Notice the tail end of the car right there where the bumper is. You can make out the end of the steps and this little structure right there. The car would have been parked right here. Everything behind it 
really hasn't changed. Just a little bit of the school has changed from this angle. And as the car backfires, after it backfires, there's a shot looking up at all the students looking back at the car. And notice above the kid's head there, kinda, kinda in the right center, there's a clock on the building. That clock is up there today. There you go now. And here you go then, all those kids would have been standing right here among this new Trier West sign in front of me. You couldn't see it because they were standing there. They've been standing there back in 1989, right there and there. Then, and now. Oh, I love doing that. So fun. And you can make out this window right here from the next screen grab, this one right here, and a little bit of this portion of the building behind Bug and Tia there as they realize Uncle Buck's coming to pick Tia up. Check out his beret. It's definitely 1989. Long jackets, black berets and hats. <laughs> and another quick screen grab of Tia and Bug just before they, they walk over to the marquee. I had to pause it just right, but this shows you where they were standing. The railing is different. They, were, they would have been more centered right here, but definitely make out the wall and the windows behind them. And that fence wasn't there back in 89, but yeah, they would have been right here before they walked down the steps. And there you go today. Right out there, John Candy and the Marquee, and that's the first time Bug met Buck. Have you ever heard of a ritual killing? Is what Buck told Bug. <laughs> And his face, the look on his face. This wall has not changed, that's so cool. Well, nothing has really changed as far as the building either. <laughs> I love this stuff. Love this movie, so amazing to be standing here where we first saw Buck's car backfire. Right there, John Candy. What a great filming location. And again, in the gymnasium is where they said, that's the auditorium, the gymnasium I'm assuming is back there. That could be it, but that is where most of the movie was filmed. They built interior sets. Buck's apartment, Shanice's apartment, a majority of the house. There were scenes filmed inside the house, the Russell's home, and here at this high school, along with Ferris Bueller's Day Off and 16 Candles. I sure do love me some John Hughes, and I sure do miss him. Him and John Candy both. And for our next filming location, we come to Skokie Boulevard to this Firestone. This is the Firestone where Shawnee's worked, Buck's girlfriend. And there was a quick scene filmed here at this Firestone, Shawnee's auto shop where she worked at, where she sold tires, as Mrs. Russell put it. It was filmed right here. There's a quick shot right here up front of the building. Matching up the screenshot of the scene you see filmed here, the exterior is shown of these two bay doors right here. This is all you see in the movie. This door can be seen, this door, and this door is up. This bay door is up in the movie. Here's the screen grab of the Firestone back then. Notice the car and the bay door. Just look at that car. Been right here. This all matches up. And there's the shot of uh, Shanice inside right there to the left but looking at the screenshot and just kind of peeping through the window i don't know if that was actually filmed inside this firestone it looks different it may have been just remodeled there's people working in there but it looks like every auto shop i've been into i used to work at napa auto parts I used to be a delivery dude so i used to come to a bunch of firestones myself but not here back in south tampa where i live now now heading to the southernmost filming location for Uncle Buck heading to the Cicero neighborhood. And now I'm on the street here, 25th Street in Cicero, right here across the way, used to sit the Palace Bowling Alley, which served as the exterior filming location for the Palace Bowl Lanes, 24 lanes, where Buck took his nieces and nephew out for a night of bowling for his bowling league. And the bowling alley used to sit here. I just wanted to show you where it used to sit. The interior scenes were not actually filmed in the bowling alley that used to sit here. They were actually filmed in another bowling alley called Windy City Bowling, 
on 21st and Cicero, which is a few blocks from here, that location has been leveled as well. The bowling scenes were filmed inside the Windy City bowling alley on 21st. There is nothing here to show you except this building right here can be seen when the scene begins. Here's the screenshot from the movie. I had to pause it just right so you can get the whole sign. But to the right of the Palace Bowl 24 Lanes Marquee, that next building is still here today. Look at the windows. Look at the yellow brick and the patterns around the upstairs windows, the second floor. All right, do you have it? Okay, here you go today. The building to the right. It is the same, almost exact. The Palace Bowl, 24 lanes. The exterior bowling alley, the exterior, the exterior location would have sat right there. This is the driveway where all the cars would have parked during the movie. The Bronco 2, the Mouse, and the 1977 Grand Marquis would have parked right here. And actually, at the end of the movie, Buck was looking back this way and John Candy waved back at his family. And the last shot was of John Candy. It was a close-up of him waving. And you can make out this house and these trees behind him in that shot. Just like this, like that. The camera would have been zoomed in a little more, but it matches up precisely. It was right back there. That's where the Russell family was at the end of the movie. Him and Tia, his niece, finally made up that heated relationship. The whole movie was hilarious and so so much fun to watch. What a great film. I just I just love that I'm out here tracking down these locations today with y'all. Very cool to be at Uncle Buck's family's house right there. Also, you can see this house several times in the movie as well. This whole street really up and down here, up and down Lincoln Street. In the land of Lincoln, Illinois, it's good to be back in the Chicago area this time. A John Hughes movie. Big fan of John Hughes and all the movies he made around here in the suburbs of Chicago. Thank you all for joining me for these filming locations. I hope you had a great time. I sure did. I appreciate you. If you'd like to check out more of my filming locations, please go to my filming locations playlist on the main page of my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me for all my journeys and adventures. It's great to be back here in Chicago. It was great being back here in Chicago for my fifth time this year. I came to Chicago five times in 2021, and it was all off the cuff most of the time. So I look forward to coming back again for my sixth time. I am Tampa J. Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and know there's much ahead. The sun's come out. This is awesome. All right, got to get back to Florida. Wow, what a cold day. What a cold day. It was a fun day, though. Uncle Buck. And I'd like to dedicate this video to John Hughes and John Candy. Rest in peace, brothers. Rest in peace.